Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to count the frequency of certain elements within a vector. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and the example data for this video is created here in lines 4 and 5. So if you run these two lines of code you can see that at the upper right of our R Studio the value x appears. We can also have a look at the data and as you can see here at the bottom of the RStudio console, our data just contains several numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to know how often each of these values appears in our data. Then we can use the table function, as you can see here in example 1 in line 9 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that at the RStudio console, a table is returned and um, you can read this table as follows. So in the first row of this table you see the original values of our input data. So in our data for instance we had the value minus 4 and this value appeared only one time in our example data. To give you another example, the value 0 appeared 380 times in our example data. So by applying the table function, you get the exact frequencies of all values that appear in your data. However, sometimes you might be interested in only one of the values of your data. And uh, in this case, you could apply the code that is shown here in example 2. So let's run line 13 of the code. And then you can see that only the number of times that the value 2 appears in our data is returned to the RStudio console. So in this case the value 2 is contained in our data 61 times. We could of course change uh, the value we want to look at. So let's say we want to know how often the value minus 1 appears. Then we could simply replace this here with minus 1. And then you would see that the value minus 1 appears 240 times in our vector. Yeah, so that's basically how to count the number of elements with a certain value within your data. However, if you want to learn more about that topic, you could also have a look at my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on this topic. And uh, in the tutorial I'm explaining the code that I, have shown, that I have shown here in the video in more detail. You can check out the tutorial at the bottom of this video in the description because I will put a link to the tutorial in the description of this video. And if you have liked the video, of course, I would also be happy if you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more R tutorials in future. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.